Hi, I'm Lynn Bellingham, a yoga teacher at De Sterling. I'm here today as part of our campaign to keep active at home, stay well. Um, and I'm going to give you a vinyasa class today. So vinyasa, fusion of vinyasa flow and yin yoga. The class today is called Happy Hips, Happy Heart. So as yogis believe, not only physically do we sometimes get tight in the body, but also that can go a little bit deeper. Um, the yinsters believe that sometimes maybe emotional kind of residue in our bodies which can cause a bit of tension as well. So today we're going to try and release that in our practice. So just let's start off and just by closing the eyes as we just find the breath. So let's just inhale and exhale through the mouth. And again, inhale. And exhale. Really start to just feel the connection with the breath, connection with the earth. Set your own intention for your practice. Inhaling. And exhale. now just bring the hands overhead just really bring the palms together and as we exhale just let the thumbs touch the third eye the mouth and the heart center you can join with me with an om inhaling in om. slowly now let's just start our practice so let's just come onto our hands and knees. So from here, let's just start off with a nice little cat cow. So put your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And from here, let's just inhale. Let the belly fall, the shoulders back, exhale. Ready the spin. Inhale. And exhale. From here, just bring the hands forward a little. And then just come back into a nice downward dog. You can kind of walk the dog. Roll the shoulders back into the spine. Look at the hands. Make sure the thumbs are kind of legs into the floor with the index finger. With kind of most of the, the pressure there into the mat. The, the knees can bend. Just do what the body feels as we make this a kind of working, moving dog about here and then look forward and either step or jump towards the front of the mat from here we're going to kind of inhale we're just going to lift up the chest the knees can be bent here or you can just feel the lovely stretch of the hamstrings and the legs are straight and we're always to listen to the body and then from here we can exhale we can either fold forward um, just be mindful if you've got low blood pressure, keep the head above the heart or allow the body to come forward into a Uttanasana or forward fold. So with all practice and all exercise, we just need to listen to the body and I think yoga gives us the opportunity to really spend time and really listen and feel. When it doesn't feel right, you just don't do it. You pull back, you modify. So from here now, you can lift the head back up once more. Bring the left hand just in front of you. Um, and then from here, let's do a nice little twist. Let's waken up the spine. So as we inhale, looking up, my right leg is straight, my left leg is bent. And then exhale, let's do the other side. Bring the right hand in front of you. My right leg, right, right leg is bent, my left leg is straight. Nice big stretch. Exhale back forward and then slowly now just start to lift up with control, navel pulling in, roll the shoulders up and back and exhale. Once more, inhale up and back and exhale. Okay, let's just give the body a kind of little kind of shake here. And then just bring the feet forward, bring the hips forward and let's just kind of inhale. Inhale the arms up, oh, extended mountain pose, pulling the navel in, shoulders up and back. 
As we exhale, come over to the right side. Oh, a nice stretch to the side flank. So just kind of warming up the body. Our yin yasa, kind of heat generating practice just now. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. And we'll kind of finish off with a pose or two of yin, so a bit softer. So inhale back to center. And again, just bring the arms round, roll the shoulders, back and forth. And give the body a little shake. So just tap down the body. It's a nice way just to kind of get our prana, our chi kind of moving. Any bits that need a little bit more attention. Get our immune system boosted. Okay, let's get back to the top of our mat. To Sam Sitahi. Do a little sun salutation. Let's break it down and let's do our lovely hip opening sequence. So as we inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Hands flat, neither step or jump back. High plank, bottoms down, elbows in. Come into Chaturanga or come onto the belly. As we inhale, up, neither cobra or upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. So again, just kind of walk the dog and then look forward, step or jump to the front of the mat, inhale again, just feel that lovely stretch of the spine, exhale, fold. Again, inhale, all the way up, Sam City Heat. Again, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, hands flat, jump or step. Again, exhale down, chaturanga, or on the knees and belly as we inhale up. Shoulders down from the ears. Exhale, back into downward dog. Walk the dog once more. Okay, now from here, let's work into our hips. So inhale up the right leg. Exhale, and bring that right leg forward. And then let's come up into a high crescent lunge. So you can see here my back leg, our toes are turned under. Navel is still pulling in. You can bring a little back bend in here as we look up. Inhale, bring those hands back down. Again, kick back. Come into downward dog. From here, inhale, left leg up, bring that leg forward. Again, once more with control, pulling the navel in, coming up into high crescent lunge. So again, you can look up, or the shoulders, the hands can be on the the waist, if that feels more steady, pull the navel in as you bring the hands up. Little back bend here if that feels okay. So working to our hip flexors, our psoas. Exhale now as you bring those hands back down. Again, that lovely high plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale up, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Okay, once more now, let's bring a three-legged dog. Bring that leg forward once more in between the left and right hand. So from here, come down onto our knee this time, let the left top of the foot onto the mat. Keep the navel in, my left hand is the inside of my right leg. And I'm now just stretching up, so I have a spiral twist in here. Feeling strong, continue to pull in the tummy. Now feeling this lovely work into the outer hip. Exhale the hand back down, again. Come back into that downward dog. Inhale, left leg, bring it forward. So again, bring the knee down. You just watch the knees, if it doesn't feel right, then roll up the mat. Bring the right hand to the inside of the left foot. And again from here, a twist. So like a twisted lunge. Inhale, exhale, gaze to the thumb. Exhale, the hand back down to that left foot. Again, kick back from here, come into a lovely high plank. This time, as we exhale, come onto the mat. Bring the hands in front like little spider fingers, as I often like to do. Our hands can be on the mat. Let's just do a nice undulating work into the spine. Inhale, bring the elbows in, exhale. Inhale. Shoulders down, exhale. Inhale once more. And exhale. From here once more, 
Just tuck those toes under. Come back into a nice downward dog. Look forward to either step or jump. Front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale down. Inhaling all the way up. Hands to the heart. Samasi to heel. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Hands flat, jump or step back. Keep the energy going as you exhale all the way down. Inhale up, upward dog, exhale back. Downward dog. Now this time, lift up the right leg once more and feed it through. This time we're going to add our knee onto the floor once more. We're going to come up, feel strong here. So we're like a lunge, roll up your mat. Again, it doesn't feel right on the knee. And we're going to add in a further twist. So bring that right left elbow to the right knee and look over the shoulder. If you want a little bit more, you can lift this one up. So it's like a twisted Parasvokanasana, Pravarita variation. Remember to breathe. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Again, come back into that lovely downward dog. And then let's try the other side, lifting up the left leg. Come back, bring the knee down. Remember to give a wee bit of support here if we need it. Take that right arm, twist far side of the left knee and look over the shoulder, feeling strong. Palms together. Remember to breathe, inhale and exhale through the nose if you can. Exhale, once more, bring that foot back. Come back into that downward dog. And then exhale once more, high plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. But this time, come on the mat again. As we just keep continuing to keep the spine strong, Bring the hands in front, little spider fingers, or have the palms on the mat. And again, inhale, work through the spine. Exhale. Head to the floor. Inhale. So you work at your own deck. Listen to the body. Inhale. And exhale. Again, once more. Bring the hands down. Tuck the toes under and come back up into a downward dog. Looking forward, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway, exhale down, and then inhale all the way up. And then stand the seat here. And again, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, hands flat, jump or step back. Exhale down once more, chaturanga or knees and belly. Inhale up, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Now look forward, either step or jump towards the front of the mat as we come up into Yukatasana or chair pose. So with this one, we're really feeling strong through the hips. If it feels too much, you can just bring the hands onto the hips or the waist. So feel strong through the legs. Now we're going to add a balance in here. So I'm going to come face on so you can see it. So it's almost like a standing kind of pigeon pose. So you can bring the leg up. Now if that's not possible, if the rotation is too much, then you stay here. So from here, from back to the front, we lift up, really grounding the left foot through the back. From here, I'm going to then come with my arms behind. So almost like a kind of flying dragon, remember? Both feet can be on the floor in this pose. And then with control, I'm going to inhale and then come up into a warrior. So warrior three, the hands can be back or forward, feeling strong. Exhale the hands down towards the floor, kind of standing split. From here, I'm going to inhale and I'm going to bring that right leg back with the heel turning in. I'm going to come up into warrior two. So now, just watch your alignment. The knee just above the ankle, nice deep lunge, roll the shoulders. Don't collapse that right hip. So 
So feeling strong in our warrior, a bit of a draft in a two. From here, little sequence now, inhale the left hand as we come into peaceful warrior. Exhale back, inhale, and exhale. From here, can we bring the left elbow onto that left knee and reach up and over? So a nice kind of Parsval Konasana, any variation. Feeling nice and strong through the legs, continuing to open up those hips. Inhale, back up, bring the hands down. And again, let's come back into that downward dog. High plank, exhale down, Chaturanga. Come onto the floor though, as we come and just release the spine. Again, hands in that lovely kind of cobra, tucking the elbows in, inhale up. Exhale down, head to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down, head to the floor. From here, inhale once more, tuck those toes under. Come back into our downward dog. So from here, once more, look forward, either jump, step or jump to the front of the mat as we come up into that Yukitasana, feeling strong. So we're going to do the other side. So remember again, we can stay here in our Yukatasana, nice and strong. Or if it is able to, if we can keep that right foot grounded, we can come into a standing pigeon. External rotation, the hip, just watch the knee. If that feels too much, come back. Okay, so feeling strong in this grounded, balancing pose. From here, we can exhale back like a flying dragon. Feeling strong. Right foot grounded into the mat. From here, we inhale, pull the navel in as we come up into a warrior three. So feeling strong. Arms me back or the hippie forward. Exhale the hands back down now as you come into that lovely splits. And then exhale that left foot back onto the mat. From here, we can windmill up into our warrior two. So remember again, keep that knee just above the ankle. Don't collapse that hip. So feel strong, release the shoulders. Remember to breathe. From here, reverse warrior, peaceful warrior, as we bring the hand behind and round. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up. And exhale back. From here, bring that right elbow onto the right knee and then reach up and over. So again, pull back that left hip. The neck is long, our dressy the downturn palm as we feel that lovely opening right through the glutes into that hip. Remember to breathe. Exhale now, as we bring that hand back up, come with the hands to either side of the right foot, again kicking back, and again come into that lovely high plank, bottom side, elbows in. Exhale onto the floor once more, let's release the spine. So hands outside your hands and the elbows tucking in, as we inhale up, and exhale down. Again, inhale up. And exhale down. And once more, inhale up and exhale down. Okay, so from here, tuck back in again. Let's look forward, either step, step or jump to the front of the mat. Again, once more, feel that lovely stretch as we come into a forward fold. Once more, remember, stay up if we know we shouldn't be coming all the way down. Keep the tummy strong, protect the spine. One more little kind of spinal twist as we inhale. Bring the left hand once more as we just lift up the right hand. So again, over my left leg is a little bit bent, right leg is straight. Inhale, come to the other side. Kind of like windmill pose. Exhale, bring the 
bring the hands back down and again once more just use the core as you come all the way up Yudhiyana Banda, exhale, bring the hands back down to the heart. Okay, let's inhale, let's go and do some sitting poses, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look up halfway, hands flat, jump your step back, exhale down, Chaturanga. inhale up, upward dog, exhale back, downward dog. Now looking forward to either step or jump, as we come into a nice butterfly pose or Baddha So we're still in our yang part of our yinyasa. But now just bring the hands around the feet. So try and open the feet like a book. So from here, we want to inhale. And then as we exhale, fold with a straight back. So just allow the breath to carry the body forward. And just do a few more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, start to bring the legs right. So we're just starting to kind of transition down into our yin, but still keeping a bit of activity and um, keeping the muscular tension in the body because we want to use the breath to open the body. So here, we're going to get into the groin, continue to work into the hips. We can either hold the, the legs on the shins or if you're able to reach the sides of the feet, then do so. And then inhale and exhale. So continue to use the body. Inhale, and the breath. As we just start to close our practice day. Slowly now, just start to inhale up. As we now are looking for a little bit of release so bring the knees together and do a little windscreen wiper one way then the other releasing any tension the lower back and through the hips from here once more let's come on to our hands and knees let's just release through another little round of cat cow so again knees just underneath the hips hands underneath the shoulders and again let's just inhale roll the shoulders back and exhale the tummy in, round the spine. Inhale and exhale. Once more, inhale and exhale. From here, just, just bring your feet together a little, bring the knees wide. Let's just come into an extended wind leg child. So we're just now going to finish off with a lovely cat pulling its tail. So this is us really delving into our inside now. So from here, come back onto the side of your mat and bring the bottom leg. We want to get into those quads once more. So bring that leg up. I'm holding onto the toes or the foot or you can grab the top bottom of your trousers. Top leg can be straight or bent. And then from here, it's going to lie down on the floor and get a lovely twist in the spine. So. This is just a lovely heart opening, kind of quad releasing pose, cat pulling its tail. So as we really delve into our yin side, we're now experiencing just a lovely release through the spine. So as we inhale and exhale, go soft. The spine, as it releases, we're going deeper beyond the physical. We're going into the deeper meridians, the urinary bladder line, which works down the spine. So we're just going to hold here for another minute. And then we need to hold our poses for at least 90 seconds to allow the softness, to allow the deeper, the deeper work. Every time we exhale, go soft. 
inhale and exhale. Feel a softness within the body. Use the breath to calm the mind. And open the heart. Slowly now, just start to release, come onto our backs, hug the knees in towards the chest and just roll the spine. From here, just come up over and let's do the other side. So again, just another minute and a half, couple of minutes on the other side. So we're looking to get a nice stretch through those quads into the hip flexor, top leg. Comes out, bent or straight. You can use the cushions underneath the knee here. Again, as we lie down, we are looking to get a lovely spinal twist or a primary area in this pose is to release the spine and just continue just to open up the pelvic girdle, working into those, those hips. As we look over the shoulder, again, find softness. As we inhale and exhale. Every time we exhale, let go. Feel softness where there was once tension. Feel the energy flow through the body. Be present, stay here. This is your time. If we allow ourselves just to be, we can navigate the journey of life. Open the heart and the mind will follow. Gently now, once more, just start to release. Come onto our backs, hug the knees into the chest and roll the spine. From here, just bring the hands out to the side and allow the knees to come over to one side, look over the shoulder. We're just finishing off with a nice little kind of Lying down, windscreen wiper, or lying twist. And then from here, I invite you to come into Shavasana. In the end, anything goes. Grab a blanket, an eye bag, anything. As we just allow the body just to be. Some find it quite nice just to bring the knees together with the feet on the floor. Others are quite happy just to come into pentacle or shavasana. So from here, inhale, clench and tense the body and exhale. Inhale and exhale and release. I'm gonna allow you to Stay here and continue in your Shavasana. Hopefully now just feeling a connection with the body on the earth. Scan the body and calm the mind. Namaste.